Hi there, I'm Edwin Palmer. Welcome to my series on LGBTQ plus related topics. A thing I've been wondering for quite some time now is what does the plus in LGBTQ plus mean? I know that the LGBTQ part of the LGBTQ plus acronym is formed based on the following terms lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer. I also know it's common to see the acronym LGBTQQIA plus used nowadays expanded for a more clear representation of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, questioning, intersex, and asexual people. I've learned now though that the plus may be open to some interpretation. I've also learned that the addition of this symbol has come to be extremely important due to its expansive meaning. So what exactly does it mean? Well, simply put, the plus stands for love, acceptance, and the embracing of all. It's an inclusive and intentional way of representing different identities and experiences. The plus is specifically meant to include everyone, even straight allies and general supporters of the LGBTQ plus community. Dr. Tracy Lowenthal, psychologist and gender therapist at Creative Insights Counseling, said it would be difficult to include all the different ways people think of their identities. The plus is what helps to bridge that gap. There are countless ways a person may self-identify, Lowenthal said. As such, it would be nearly impossible to add all of those identities to an already well-established acronym. For instance, if someone identifies as gender non-conforming and pansexual, that's not necessarily indicated by the existing letters LGBTQ, but this person may still identify as part of the expansive community. The plus allows everyone to be included. However, Dr. Abby Weissman, a psychologist with a specialty in helping those who identify as intersex, views the plus a little differently. While recognizing that the plus is inclusive, Weissman really values the importance of each specific letter. Because of her work with the intersex community, she finds it important to fight for the inclusion of each and every letter which can be used. Though the plus is openly representative, Weissman believes it may not be fully valuing certain parts of the community. I hate the idea, though, of leaving anyone out by making a seemingly representative term exclusive, Weissman said. After all, each letter represents individual people and their identities and or orientations and a social movement for equality. I want to support the work that people put in to fight for inclusion. Despite multiple opinions, it's important to remember that the plus has no limit and specifically includes those who don't identify with a particular label. Furthermore, the plus includes those within the LGBTQ plus community who identify as gender non-binary, gender queer, asexual, pansexual, gender expansive, and the list goes on. So, how do we officially define the plus? Well, from all of this information, it's clear. We don't have to. The list which encompasses those represented by the plus goes on and on. This information came from this website. You'll find this link below this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and watch this series from the start. Next Friday, I'll be back with a little surprise for you. Till then, I only want to say three things. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and bye y'all!